What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Oh my goodness. Oh, it has been a long day, and it's only 12 o'clock. You know, as the Marine Corps say, we do more before 5 a.m. than most people do all day. Well, I didn't do anything before 5 a.m. I got up at 5 a.m., but, but be that as it may. Um, dealing with not one, not two, not three, but four heating and air conditioning units that uh, you find out about heat kits and heat pumps when the temperature goes down below about five degrees. Because the way they work are like an air conditioning in reverse, which uses the heat that's in the air, which still does not make sense to me. But once it gets down below about 10 degrees, it has to use the electric heat coil that's in it to kind of top everything off. The problem with that is um, when the temperature gets down, or, excuse me, when the problem with that is, is if the electric heat kit on there, it's like a, a blow dryer coil, the, the coils break, and when they break, then they don't heat anymore. In which case, you don't have heat when it gets down low. So at nighttime, it gets really, really cold. The next day, it starts warming up as the temperature does. So we're taking care of those. At least my brother is. He is the heat and air conditioning man. Anyway, that's not why you're here. You're here because I just said the Cowboys got good news, bad news on the injury front. Tony Pollard um, didn't get any work uh, yesterday, be sitting out yesterday because he has a like thigh bruise um, on his thigh. You know, when you're playing football, everybody is bruised. Almost everything is bruised. And so they gave him a bit of rest. The good news is he should be practicing today and getting some work, and it's still expected to play um, on Thursday night. And this is the problem of having a short week. It's not as short as some of them because at least we play on Saturday as opposed to Sunday. Um, but these games that are quick turnarounds, they are hell on the body. And the Cowboys having these Thursday games, man, it's, this is just hell. Um, it was less than a month ago, or excuse me, a month ago, that we had the first one that was hell. Uh, you, know, you know, Thanksgiving, Thursday night game, boom. We literally had three games in, in 12 days, and that is hell on the body to begin with. And now you're kind of doing the same thing again. So um, it is what it is. At least the good news will be if we can get through Thursday and get, the, get a victory, then you get a couple extra days there before we have the season finale against the Washington Commanders, which may or may not mean anything. It all depends on what happens with the Saints versus the Eagles. If the Eagles lose that one and we beat Tennessee, all of a sudden now, if the Eagles lose the last game and we win, it, it means something. So we'll see how all of it works out and so on. i got to run in here and get a dryer hose for the dryer so we make sure that that's in good shape and working order and um that's it all right good people i'm gonna go back to work peace